What's good everybody, it's your boy Will, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute best point guard build in NBA 2K22 next gen. Now I've been in the builder for a very long time looking at builds for point guards, and to me there's only really two that make sense. There's the play shot without dunking, and then there's this build right here that's kind of a BP build from 2K20 where you're able to get every single contact dunk and throw down on people. So me personally, considering that shooting is very easy on this game right now, and you could pretty much hit with like a 63 pointer, uh, having a lower three pointer on this build compared to the other one really isn't a big factor. It doesn't matter. You can still hit shots. So I would rather have the ability to dunk on anybody in the paint, put them on the ground, than have a higher three pointer because it doesn't really matter. For position, we're going to go with point guard. Obviously, this is a point guard build. Obviously, the handedness doesn't really matter. I personally go lefty. I think it looks cleaner, but that's obviously up to you. Now for height, as you guys can see, I do have the metric system on. If you're not exactly sure what this is or why I have it on, I did make a video a couple months ago explaining it in depth. But basically, 1.91 meters is 6.3.2. So you're a little bit taller than the normal 6.3 and you're not losing any stats by doing this. So it's just in your settings, you got a turn metric system on and you'll be able to do this. For weight, we're going with the lowest weight, 77 kilograms and wingspan, we're going 2.06 meters. Uh, this is gonna lower our three pointer and I believe our ball handle just one point, but it doesn't matter because those are the stats that we're gonna go with anyway. For body shape, this is up to you. I personally usually go with solid or compact, but again, this is preference. If you want to go built, I guess <laughs> I guess you could body slam some lockdowns or something. Continuing on. Now, as you guys can see for the stats, finishing stats, we're going with a 72 driving layup as well as a 47 close shot. We're not putting up our close shot at all, but when we up our mid-range, it automatically goes up so we don't have a choice. The 72 driving layup is directly from the 92 driving dunk, and we want this 92 driving dunk because this is gonna give us every single contact package in the entire game, as well as every single dunk animation in the game. So when we're attacking the rim, we're gonna be able to throw down as effective as physically possible. This is also gonna give us 17 finishing badges. We're gonna get gold posterizer and a whole lot of <laughs> glitchy finishing badges. Hall of Fame slithery, you definitely want that. So. For shooting, we're gonna go with 76 mid-range. This is definitely good enough in my opinion. Like I said, we can hit shots with a 60 on this game. So a 76 is definitely plenty, especially with all these badges we're gonna get. And we're going with an 88 three-pointer. Reason being, we're gonna get gold blinders at an 88. Now for free throw, obviously if you guys are more of a park player and you're not gonna play record pro-am and you're not gonna be taking free throws, we don't wanna put this up. But for someone that is going to be taking free throws, we want to leave it at around a 60. You could either do a 60, maybe a 64, somewhere in that range. I would say at least get a 60 since you are a point guard. Free throws seem a little bit easier in this game than they did on 21 next gen. So I believe you're going to be able to knock them down. For pass accuracy, we're definitely going to want a 97 here. Reason being, we're going to get Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, which is definitely needed for any point guard build. Obviously, we want to be able to throw passes as fast as we possibly can. For ball handling, we're gonna go with an 88. Some people are going with an 86. The problem I see with that is if you get cold and you get a bunch of turnovers in a row, you may or may not be able to speed boost the entire time because your stats do deplete as you make mistakes. So I think an 88 is a pretty safe, uh, pretty safe spot. For speed with ball, we're going with a 92. This is gonna give us Hall of Fame quick first step. Another mistake I see you guys making is they're making a little bit taller of a point guard that doesn't get Hall of Fame quick first step. We definitely want this because we want our point guard to be as fast as we physically can. For defense, we're gonna go with a 63 perimeter defense. This is gonna give us bronze clamps. We definitely want that for defense, as well as we're gonna go with a 62 steal. At a 60 steal, we're gonna get silver interceptor, which is gonna help you playing passing lanes and bumping it up two more points to a 62 is gonna give us six defensive badges, which we definitely want. And going down to the physicals, we're gonna go with a 90 speed here. You guys can up it. Like I said, if you're somebody that's only playing park, we can drop the free throw all the way down to nothing. And then we can directly just put these points into something else that we see. I'm gonna leave it up for now though. And we're also gonna have an 85 vertical. Reason being, you need an 85 to get every single contact in a game. If you don't have an 85, you can't get the small contact dunks that uh, everyone else is going to be using with an 85 vertical. And then stamina, we're gonna leave this at a 94. You can lower this. 
personally, if I'm not going to be shooting any free throws, I would put my stamina down to a 90. And then I would draw my free throw all the way down. And you could put another point into either ball handling or you could put points into speed. So you can get a 95 speed at 99. But again, that's up to you. It just really depends on whether or not you're going to be shooting free throws. For the sake of the build that I made, I personally do like playing rec and I like playing some pro am here and there. So I'm going to up the free throw a bit. I would go with something like this right here. But again, just preference entirely. Depends on what you like to play the most. Now for takeovers, a lot of people have actually been using Limitless Range. Uh, last year, Spot Up was the glitchiest sharp badge, but people are starting to use Limitless Range because it extends the ability to shoot free uh, three-pointers from very deep on the floor. And obviously, since we already have contact dunks, we want to be able to shoot deeper and deeper. We want to be able to hit as many shots as we can. Secondary, I would probably go with finishing moves. I've noticed that I'm getting a bit more contact dunks while I use this. You could also go with playmaking badge. To me, probably team ratings boost is the best one here. I wouldn't recommend the shot creating takeover. I don't think it's as good as a sharp, but you could also go with playmaking. Once you guys uh, get into career, you can actually unlock the ability to always switch your takeover. So this doesn't really matter. You'll always be able to switch these up, but having the ability to be playmaking, sharp and slashing is pretty ridiculous. Now moving along, as you guys can see, he's a three-point playmaker. This is the build that most Pro-Am guys are going to be going with as the year progresses. Uh, honestly, this is what most park guys will be going with too, just because you can get a contact dunk out of anything. And everybody knows that was the most broken thing on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. They did nerf contact dunks a little bit, but we're still able to get them on this game. And as I said, it's so easy to shoot right now that you really don't need the the extra shooting badges, you would rather get the finishing because if you're on the break, you can dunk on somebody, you can finish in the paint, get more takeover. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the badges that I personally recommend, some of the badges that I've been testing out and using. Depending on whether or not you actually have your uh, layup timing on, if you don't have NA on, I would recommend putting on Pro Touch, at least bronze, but that's up to you. Limitless Takeoff is a good badge. Fearless Finisher is a good badge. Unstrippable, right now it seems like people are getting a lot of plucks. I'm not sure if that's something that's going to be nerfed in the future. Mike Wang did put out a tweet today saying that basically the gameplay isn't going to be touched for a while. So I would maybe recommend Unstrippable. This is something that you could test out in lab. You definitely going to want Gold Posterizer as well as Hall of Fame Slithery. This is what's really going to allow you to get as many contact dunks as you possibly can. Other than that, we still have another two points left over. I'd probably just go on strippable, test that out. Move along to shooting. You definitely are going to want blinders. Circus 3s is a decent badge, but that's only if you're someone that likes doing step backs. I personally do, so I usually run in a bronze or silver. Dead Eye is a decent badge. Right now, the contest system is pretty lenient. You're getting a lot of open shots, even if someone's in your face. So Dead Eye might not necessarily be needed, but it doesn't hurt to have it on. I would personally recommend Green Machine as well. Stop and Pop is a decent badge. We can put that on bronze as well if you wanted to test that out. I wouldn't really recommend Catch and Shoot considering you're always going to be dribbling with a ball because you're a point guard. You definitely are going to want Gold Hot Zone Hunter on this build. You can test out Mismatch Expert. That's a decent badge. Clutch Shooter is a decent badge for Park. You're definitely going to want to put on Chef. This is going to allow you to shoot off the dribble a lot better. Besides that, you could test out something like Limitless Spot Up, but obviously you're not really going to be standing still when you're shooting. You're going to be going off the dribble. This is something that you could test out as well. Rhythm Shooter is a good badge. This is something we could put on too. And Sniper obviously is just giving a ratings boost when we mess up our timing, but we're, we're trying to green everything, so I wouldn't really recommend that. But as you can see, 26 shooting badges is plenty. I already put on pretty much everything that I can see myself using, and I have extra, so... We're going to go and put on Shadow Shooter, why not? Now for playmaking. I would definitely recommend Gold Ankle Breaker. You're going to want that Hall of Fame Bullet Passer. Floor General is optional. I don't really think it's needed because it's super easy to shoot on this game right now. Quick Chain is a good badge. Hyper Drive is a decent badge. You're definitely going to want Bailout at least on Bronze to be able to pass out of your shots. 
Needle Thread is a decent badge. We're obviously going to want Hall of Fame Quick First Step for sure, no doubt about that. Stop and Go is a decent badge. You're definitely going to want Gold Unpluckable in this game right now. Steals are, you know, pretty easy to get. Uh, there's a lot of bump steals. There's a lot of steals where you're running into the paint. People press square and get blessed, so we're definitely going to want that Gold Unpluckable. We're definitely going to want Gold Handles for days here. That's definitely necessary. And besides that, Tight Handles is another pretty good badge that we could put on. Um, other than that, let me see. Dime or another one. You don't really need that because shooting is pretty easy. I would recommend probably tight handles. Now moving along to the defense. Right here, we're definitely going to want to put on Interceptor. At least on Bronze. Maybe Silver. That's up to you. And we're definitely going to want Bronze Clamps. Now, if you go with Silver Intercept, you're going to have two badge points left over. You could do something like Ankle Braces. I don't really think that's necessary. If you're guarding Bowl, you definitely are going to want Pick Dodger on. That's another great badge you get on this build. You could put on something like Pickpocket, even Off Ball Pest. I'd probably go with Pickpocket because it's pretty easy to get steals right now. Ball Stripper is not another, it's another decent badge. Uh, when people are going in for dunks and layups, it's super easy to press square and get the ball from them. And also, once you guys play through college, in um, my career, you're going to be able to get an extra four badges for whichever one you want. You can also do colleges that give you like two shooting, two playmaking, or you can just do one that gives you all four. Personally, me, I would either go with more playmaking or more shooting. I don't really think you need much more finishing, and I definitely don't think you need much more defense. But again, that's up to you. I would probably recommend going with playmaking just because you're obviously a point guard and you obviously want as many playmaking badges as you can get. And I feel like shooting is pretty easy right now, so you don't really need that many. But again, that's up to you. I'd either go shooting or playmaking. Now, last but not least for the jump shot, I would recommend either trying out base 98, Exum base, um, Dwayne Wade base, or Ray Allen base. Those are some good bases that I've used in the past and I found success using. Obviously this is a brand new game, so there are some different bases that are good now, but these are the main ones that I have tested out and I have used in the past, so these are the ones that I would personally recommend. But other than that guys, that's the build. This is more of a Damian Lillard build that can finish inside as well as play make and shoot threes. Uh, it's pretty overpowered in my opinion. You know, you could go with the one that can't dunk, but then again, that's not as fun as running in the paint going brain dead. So. I would definitely recommend this build right here. And as, as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching. If this build has video helped you guys out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Show your boys some love. But other than that, man, I appreciate you guys watching. It's been your boy, Will. Peace.